I'm talking to Mike Dennis, who is really, uh, well, he's a founder and producer, I guess, and editor and everything else for Real Black Films. But what I like about him is that he is progressive, and he's always out of the box. By that, I mean you're doing things that most of us don't do, don't cover. And right now, you're initiating a project, which is a little unusual in this area and very provocative. What is it? Well, we, we have a new project called Black Film Now that we're currently raising funds for on Indiegogo. It's a documentary about the uh, current state of African-American film. There hasn't been a documentary about African-American film in over a decade, but more has happened in the last 10 years in African-American film than possibly in the entire history of cinema before that. So we're taking the footage that we have in our archive and we're going to compile that along with some new interviews uh, to sort of bring people up to date, to sort of update our roadmap, give black filmmakers and audiences an idea of where we are, what it's taken for us to get there, and where we can go in the future. How far back do you go? Well, we started Real Black TV in 2006. So over that period of time, we've amassed over 400 clips on yeah. YouTube. And within, within that footage, there's a lot of interviews with uh, talented actors and, and filmmakers producers and producers. Really, yeah. then, and uh, one of our go-to questions that we always ask is, what do you think the current state of African-American film is? So we have a lot of uh, really bright minds talking, answering mm -hmm. that topic. African-American cinema, independent cinema, is, is struggling. Most young people who want to be filmmakers have no reference, no, no system of continuity. It's kind of nerve-wracking not to know where we are in this, in this window. Is it the beginning? Is, are we in the middle of it? Is it almost over? Two questions. So what do you think about our progress and where we're going? And two, where can we see it? Okay, well, we're still working on the film. So mm -hmm. right now, we're in the process of raising funds. We're using Indiegogo.com to uh, do a fundraiser. And mm -hmm. our goal is to get as much money as possible in the, in the kitty so that we can start going through the footage and, and do additional interviews. So hopefully right. it'll be First done all, by the fall. Where do they send it and how much are you looking for? Oh, I'm sure it'll be right down <laughs> here on the screen. Indiegogo.com slash Black Film Now. Or, uh -huh. or if, if you're watching after March 10th, uh, you can find out how to support by going to realblack.com. That's R-E-E-L-B-L-A-C-K.com. And how so, much are you looking for? I mean, from what would be oh, a normal kind of a contribution, anything? Well, well I mean, if you, if you contribute $10, you can get your name in the credits. If you contribute $25, you can get uh, your name in the credits and a ticket to the premiere. And if you live outside the Philadelphia area, for $50, you get your name in the credits and a DVD or digital oh. download of the film. So that's the base. And then it goes all the way up to 20000 if you want to <laughs> feel like executive producing this. When is the uh, preview? Uh, well, hopefully we'll have something ready to screen by the end of this year. But we're uh, concurrently working on another project uh, called uh, Last Night at the Five Spot, which we also hope to have in festivals by the end of this year as well. So depending on how well things go as far as the fundraising and uh, creating an opportunity for us to travel, uh, either we'll have we'll definitely have something by the end of the year to show people. But it may that'll be, be here in Philadelphia. It could take it. It could be a lifelong journey. Mm. Black film now it's always changing. You know, so the hope is the hope is that we can build a franchise around this and really sort of do our own yeah. oral histories of African American film. And the premiere is going to be here. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you asked me another question about the, about about the current state. Thinking, yeah. Um, I think it's growing. It's really exciting. Like I said, more has happened in the last ten years than ever, and more people are making films. It's just we don't have this roadmap. Like people are operating on, like everybody knows there's an internet. Everybody can make films cheaper, but how do we make them smarter? You know, if we don't talk to one another. So mm -hmm. for the last six years or so, you know, me and my partner Craig, we've had opportunities to interview lots of people that have ideas about this. So it's not just my perception of it, but I hope to discover a lot more. And we're always, every time we meet somebody and talk to them, you know, we discover mm -hmm. more and, and our goal is to share that information with people. African-American theme films and highlighting and showcasing African-American talent are, are making more money than ever before, but um, there's not quite the diversity of voices telling our stories that we need. When I tell my students who want to become filmmakers, who want to race into Hollywood, check why you want to be there. People say, oh, Kimberly, I wish you could see you so much more. I wish I could see you so much more. And I'm like, 
Mm, you don't want to see me so much more because you'd see me in a lot of not things you wouldn't really like. How do people get in touch with you, or would it make sense to get in touch with you if they think they've got something to? Well, if you see me on the street, don't stop me. I'm probably busy. <laughs> but you can always go online. Uh, we, if you Google Real Black, you'll find us on Facebook. You'll find us on Twitter. You'll find our YouTube channel, and you'll find our website. And I'm, I check all that stuff every day. And if people do need uh, encouragement uh, about producing their own thing, would you help them? Um, that's them? why we're making the film. Okay. That's why we're making the film, to get the information out. I mean, we've learned a lot in the last six years of doing this, and a lot of wisdom has come through our, our camera, and we just want to share with more people. But, yeah, we do events. Mm -hmm. uh, we're t part of the Philadelphia Black uh, Film Alliance, mm -hmm. Philly BFAC, and our mission there is to make Philadelphia a better place for African-American filmmakers. I had a hard time getting this guy on the phone. <laughs> He is busy, 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 but what I like about him, he will take time to help you and to talk to you, to guide you, and it's, it's nice of you to do that. Right. Really swell. Thank you very much, Mike Dennis.